Lucius Dissonus. Check. Formica Lugubris. Which one's that again? The hairy wood ant. Oh yeah, check. Lassius Brunius. Is that the bullet ant? No, it's a brown tree ant. You should know this by now. And lastly, hmm. the woodlouse ant. Miramacina graminicola. Check. Right, well how many species of ant is that then? 12,348. Okay, great. Dad, do we have to take all those different ants? Of course we do! Now hurry up, where are you going to put them? Well, I thought up on level 3 with the squirrels, frill-necked lizards, weasels, dung beetles, panthers, hedgehogs, caterpillars, hamsters, beavers, sawflies, Beavers? Skunks. Hang on, are we talking about level 3 or level 2? 3. No, I told you, beavers can't go on level 3. They have to go on level 2 with the elephants, inchworms, koalas, fruit flies, sloths, possums, bisons, polar bears, cockroaches, grasshoppers, gerbils, armadillos, Dad, goners, Dad, quick, my wife just got stung off a bee. Hold on, Ham, we're in the middle of something here. Now, Sham, why are you putting ants anywhere near the frill-necked lizards? They eat ants, so if one of them gets out of its box, what's going to happen? Well, all right, I'll put the ants up the other end with the moths. Lemurs, badgers, ladybugs, pelicans, horses, mallards, chipmunks. Oh, speaking of horses, Dad, I forgot to tell you, the male horse that was hosting the large red worm parasites died. What? I thought the female rabbit had the large red worms. No, 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 no. The rabbit is hosting the pinworms and one of the ticks. Pinworms and ticks? Dad, it won't survive that. Well, what can I do? The parasite species have to have a host to live in. So what should I do well, about whatever, the horse? Whatever, but where do you want me to put the ants and lizards well, I don't and all care. That. Just go and get them on board, will you? I've still got to organise between nine and 10,000 bird enclosures before tomorrow, and now I've got no male horse. 10,000 birds? Are you including bats with those birds? Yeah, of course. Jeez, Dad, do we have to take them all? Can't we just Yes! Leave? How else are there going to be 10,000 species of bird after this is all over? Okay, okay. Okay, well, I'll just go and start loading in the ants. Okay, hang on, hang on, just make sure all the males are fertile. What? Well, most male ants are just infertile drones that never mate, and there's no point in taking them, is there? Hey, don't forget that the giant anteater, Myrmosophaga tridactyla, eats up to 30,000 ants and termites per day. Oh, that's a good point. Um, you better bring an extra... 30, 22 million ants for the giant anteaters. <laughs> right. Um, what are you standing around for? Go! Now, quick, what do you want? Well, that horse, Dad, should I just add its carcass to the meat that we're bringing on the voyage? We're not taking any meat. We don't have room. Well, what are the carnivores going to eat? Well, I don't know. Just plants and stuff. Uh, what? The carnivorous animals' digestive tracts are too short to digest cellulose and plant matter. Well, they'll just have to make They'll do. starve hey, to Dad, death. Dad, the male dromedary camel wait, just stepped Jacob, on one. Wait, Dad, I don't fancy floating around in a confined space for a year with pairs of starving, hungry lions, wolverines, leopards, crocodiles, dwarf mongooses, polar bears, hyenas, foxes, alligators, vultures, hawks, monitor lizards, dunnarts, quolls, grizzly bears, weasels, pumas, tigers, and Asiatic black bears that might get a bit peckish along Look, the way. I, I, I just don't want to hear it, okay? I don't have time for this. I've got to get back to making the snake muzzles so that no animals what? get poisoned by... Well, for the king cock Cobras, death adders, banded rock rattlesnakes, copperheads, black mambas, gaboon vipers, cotton mouths, burrowing asps, small vipers, stiletto snakes, whip snakes, tiger snakes, taipans, black desert cobras, Jeez, pit vipers. Dad, do we have to take them all? What? Of course we do! How else are 600 species of venomous snakes going to exist after this flood if we don't take a pair of each of them? And they all have to wear muzzles or one of them might bite some animal and that would be the extinction of that species, wouldn't it? Jeez, when you put it like that, we don't really have much of a margin of error, do we? Oh, you finally figured that out, did you? We have zero margin of error, Ham. Not a single animal is to die in this voyage. Why do you think I haven't been able to get a decent night's sleep for the past few years? What are you doing here anyway? Weren't you meant to be shearing the sheep to make them a little bit more compact? Yeah, well, I was in the middle of that when my wife got a bee sting, so I came here to tell you. Oh, do you think I give a damn about a bee sting when I'm trying to organise a year in a wooden boat with 4,000 species of termites Dad. on board? Dad. And woodpeckers no, and beavers Dad, Dad, and... Dad, think about it. It means that the bee that stung her is going to die, isn't it? Oh, no! Oh, what species of bee was it? Well, I don't know. How many are there? Well, let's see. There's Trigonoma minima, Apis mellifera, Osmium ribiflorus, Megachili pluto, Bombus praetorum, Bombus Dad, terrestris. Dad, just give me a number. It'll save time. Well, about 20,000. 20,000 pairs of bees? Really, Dad? Do we have to take them all? Yes! How else are there going to be 20,000 species of bee after the entire planet has been submerged for a year unless we take a pair of each of them? What the hell is wrong with you people? Now go and find out which bee species we need a new one of and tell the other bees not to sting things for the next year. Right, okay. Dad, no, oh, sorry, Dad, just, Dad, just a quick question, Dad. Female fleas drink 15 times their weight in blood every day. Should they be getting that from just one animal or should we let them roam around getting it from whichever animals they want? I don't friggin' care, just as long as it survives. Right. <sighs> Dad, I've been trying to tell you, the male dromedary camel just stepped on one of the snails. No! <laughs> Which snail? Well, I don't know exactly, but I have figured out it was either What do you mean you don't know which one? Well, I don't know. It's totally squashed and they're only half loaded. Half loaded? I'm a 600-year-old man responsible for seeing that the Earth is populated with millions of species of animals after God insists on drowning all but a single boatload of the freaking things. Could you at least try to help me out a bit? No wonder I'm going to turn into a hopeless alcoholic when this is all over. Bloody hell, now just keep the camels away from snails from now on. In fact, keep them away from anything else that they might accidentally step on too. In fact, keep every small animal away from any animal that might step on it. Night and day, with zero margin of error. Go! Dad, can we use the area on level 1 between the chickens and buffalo as a kind of hospice for treating animals who are on the brink of starving to death or dying of diseases? What? 
Well, you are going to be providing veterinarian care for every single species of animal on the planet for the whole voyage, aren't you? I hadn't actually considered that. Well, every animal's going to have insufficient food and space for a year. It's not, like, impossible that a few of them might get sick and die. Oh, no, 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 no. No animal is allowed to die in this voyage. Well, that's exactly what I mean, Dad. Like, Sorry, can I just buddy in quickly? Uh, where are we going to put the polar bears? <laughs> Look, wherever there's room. I don't care. We're busy trying yeah, to work out how to... we have to keep to... them away from the penguins, obviously, but that'll mean having two cold areas rather than just one. What are you talking about? Well, shouldn't we at least try to make some sort of cold area so the it's animals It's a frigging from... ark, Ham, made of wood! Not a frigging five-star sightseeing luxury liner for well-to-do arctic animals! What, so you're going to put penguins and fur seals next to desert scorpions, meerkats and camels? Listen, genius! We live in an age when a frigging wheelbarrow is a piece of high-tech equipment, so how do you suggest that we make a cold area? All right, all right, all right, cancel that. Thing. A wheelbarrow, eh? Hmm, that might help me get the sloths in. Frickin' slow bastards, I don't know how they got here from their native Central America. Central what? Anyway, Dad, I just need to clear this up. As well as being a veterinarian to every single species of animal, you've got to be a doctor to us. Because you said we're going to have to each carry a few parasitic infections in order to preserve them, too. Yeah, now behave yourself or I'll assign you to carry the crab lice. What? You said I could just have the head lice. Did you organise the parasites already? Why did he get the head lice? What did I get? I'm not carrying the hookworms, am I? I don't fancy spending a year on a boat with diarrhea. Jay, Jay, look, we've all got to make certain sacrifices to save animals like the hookworms, okay? Oh, it's not fair! Why does he always have to be the favourite son? Friggin' Shem! I think I'll become the world's first anti-Semite after this is all over. Alright then, good. Now, Dad, frogs. Quick, what about them? Well, I was just about to load them all in. All 4,740 pairs at once, I hope. Yeah, of course. And I was thinking that... You know, maybe we don't need to take them at all, actually, because they like the water, see? And I oh, figured that they would... Are you suggesting that because frogs like water, they'll be happy to float around in a 29,000 foot deep ocean for a year? Well, I... Did you say 29,000 feet? Besides, I'm not exactly sure how God plans to make the oceans habitable for both freshwater and saltwater life anyway. Yeah, but, uh, really, but do we have to take them all? I mean, 4,700 <sighs> is a lot of... Speaking. How else are there going to be 4,700 species of frogs later if we don't take a pair of each of them? Do the friggin' math, man! Did you really say 29,000 feet? Dad, Dad, the praying mantis has just mated and the female bit the male's head off. No! No, I was afraid of that happening. Well, why did it do that? Well, that's just what the females do. Oh! Oh, I was going to make a helmet for him tomorrow morning, too. Oh, shit. I just spotted a fly. That wasn't one of ours, was it?